is Alexander Duvel, and uh, I am the uh, managing guy around here at Andy's Music here on 2300 West, Belmont in Chicago. We're sitting here in uh, part of our 4,500 square feet where we have, gosh, probably one of the most interesting collections for sale of musical instruments um, in the Midwest, probably the country. I am tuning, a, I'm changing the pitch of a drum, of the tabla, the right hand drum of the tabla set. It should be a little higher pitched, so I was giving it a little tune up. These are made by a maker, uh, Sadnand. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, Indian, uh, you know, uh, sticky uh, isn't so good sometimes. But uh, this is their label. Sadnand, very, very famous. Uh, maker of tablas. Uh, he is uh, out of Mumbai, India, or Bombay, if you prefer. There's an awful lot to how to make these, but it's a pretty rudimentary design that's been around for hundreds of years. Right hand drum is almost always made out of wood, um, but even today they're being made out of fiberglass. <laughs> Uh, sometimes uh, you'll see you'll see one made out of a ceramic, you know, a, a, a brick-like ceramic material. <laughs> but uh, off, most often, shisham wood or uh, Indian rosewood, as it's called, sometimes um, is what is the preferred wood. You may see ones made out of jack wood in the south of India um, or uh, other kinds of uh, hardwoods that are a little less stable and a little less resonant. But uh, the Indian rosewood is the preferred uh, stuff, or they what they said they call shisham wood. Um, same mold, same style uh, lacings. The heads are very complex uh, for, a, for a natural head and they're hard to make and uh, it really is the, the, the art and soul of the sound of the tabla is how well the heads are made. The shells are a little easier to, 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 to crank out on a lathe. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, the, the, the right hand drum here. And um, well, there's a, it's kind of hard to get uh, I would have to show you uh, the head taken off, which I could, because um, I, do, I do sell replacement heads for these and I put them on sometimes. Uh, uh, there's basically three skins that uh, make up the main uh, heads here, and also on the baya as well, they have the same sort of thing where there's an outer skin, a main playing skin that has the sihai or siahi, the, the, the paste dot on them. Uh, which helps to center the tone of the drums, but also gives you a sort of a playing surface to play closed strokes. And then I ideally the drum has a very good resonance because there's a third skin underneath here, which is, and they're all attached to this outer ring. And the third skin underneath here sort of allows the, the drum, the main drum skin to sort of sit up and be free and resonant so that it has a nice sustain quality to it. And those are the better tablas, the ones that are made in such a way uh, like that. Most makers will tell you that it's best to have the drum head basically match, the, perfectly match the shell. So they frequently will make the shell and make the head exactly to fit to it. These drums are in that quality because they were direct from India, from the maker, and this head was made especially for this drum. But frequently they do make replacement heads because, you know, hey, you don't want to just have to throw away the shell uh, if the drum head breaks. Um, and the head, they are a finger style drum. Most of the strokes of the drum are accomplished with the fingers and the palm of the hand on the uh, left hand side. And the drums are all taught like most uh, sort of older drumming traditions by a set of mnemonics. In India, they're called bulls. They're very just syllables that are uh, meant to describe certain uh, strokes we make on the drum. So we have like ta, tin, tun, tita, ga, ge, yeah, and that's that sound you don't want, and I need some powder for. <laughs> um, but uh, so, and we combine them. Some, some we, we we combine them, and we have combined strokes like da, din, din, and different patterns also that follow uh, that require the use of both hands, either together or separate, and that's what makes up the whole uh, sort of tabla language, and. Uh, from there we uh, create the rhythms, uh, and the rhythms are all what we know as in India called tal. 
Tal is, is time, literally, the word means time. And so when we interpret time, we divide it into beats and phrases, and uh, the compositions that are played are called theka. Uh, and there's other different kinds of smaller compositions which are, get uh, used more in an improvisational sort of sense when the music develops. Um, things like mohras, tihais. <laughs> and then we have daya, the right hand drum, which is also called tabla all by itself. Tabla is actually an Arabic word, but uh, because of the, the uh, heavily uh, Muslim, uh, Mus uh, heavily Islamic uh, influence on culture in the north, north of India, uh, that's where this drum, more or less, was, was created. This is just a, a real sort of a fancier, another, again, this is from Sadnan, same, same maker, but uh, a much more rare design of tabla be because it's so large and it has such a nice, much lower. It has just such a nice, much lower sort of uh, pakawaj sort of quality. And they're getting more popular, I think, these days uh, with uh, a lot of Indian musicians. But uh, I'm probably one of the only stores in the country that even bothers to carry something like this. Um, it's a wonderful, you know, a drum like a, with a seven inch head, six and a half, or six and three quarters, I think this one is. Um, when we got uh, our last shipment, we bought, like I said, some very unique pieces. Just wanted to show that off. Um, and I, I, this one I just brought over because it has a it has a much higher pitch. These are the chakras. These are the you know just the, the rings, and they're they're very sort of customizable because every tabla player is a little different, and their posture will be a little different. And different teachers will advise you know as to how deep the angle of the drum should be or such things. I think it's a, it's an old drum. It takes a lot out of your hands to tune one and crank one up and uh, keep them in good playing order. 